The only thing worse, okay, than a Dallas Cowboys fan from Dallas is a Dallas Cowboy fan from Philadelphia. I ain't sticking by a losing team. Hey, Danny, are those nails the Dallas Cowboy colors? Ah, uh, yo, you know what? Throw her ass out of the van. Crater. Dallas Cowgirl fan. Go Eagles. Look, that's a Cowboy fan for you. Maybe somewhere later in life, Shot, you'd come to the realization about how wrong it is to be a Cowboy fan. There's a true fan right there. For better or for worse, they're like marriage vows when you're an Eagles fan. My coworkers are jealous of me because I'm part of a winning team and they're part of a team that sucks. Looks like the EPS is in a no stopping. She harasses me every day. Well, if you want me in a no stopping zone, you wouldn't be seeing me. I wonder if I'd still get a ticket if I wasn't an Eagles fan. I am a Cowboys fan, yes. I don't harass him every day, though. There you go, I'll take it. All right, have a good one. See you later. It's about the 20th ticket she's given me. <laughs> be that a Texas tag? Yes, it be. It's in Cowboy territory. Texas, with pleasure. Oh, man, this feels good. <laughs> it feels too good. <laughs> He's on a fire hydrant. Uh, don't get any sweeter than this one. <laughs> There's a, a ticket to an Eagles game for him. Yes? I just bought $80 worth of burgers. They just want to bring out to me if I go away. I understand that, but you got to be in the meter or loading zone. This is an automatic okay, ticket. Not blocking you. Guy is here. He got a ticket. You're ticketing UPS guys? Yes, and now he's leaving. I can't have this blocked. Okay, uh, can I just tell her I'm moving? No, honey. I can't tell her I'm moving? No. Can I have your supervisor's name? Uh-oh. Fine. Supervisor 15. Supervisor 15? Yes. You guys are wrong. You see that sign? No stopping anytime. People will think that's gonna like scare me or something. They're gonna call my supervisor. She's gonna say, well, she should have gave you a ticket, but she let you go. Read it and weep. <laughs> Look, Danielle, I, I was right. You can't argue with print. Look at that. Look, on the streets of Philadelphia, that ought to be a crime. <laughs> Hopefully, Danielle will use her brains and, and not shout it out so much. He called me a traitor all he wants. He still sucks. I want more Super Bowls than he did. That's what you call front runner -dom. How can you not root for your hometown team? I don't care how bad they are. That would be like uh, looking somebody more than like your own dad or something, you know? My dad, my brother, my mother, my uncle, everybody are Eagles fans. And they get disappointed every single year. And that's their fault. And I'm not a front runner either. Let's see what he's got here. Double parking. It's a hot spot. He's probably just in the bank. Come right out. Boss, you got a ticket, man. I got a ticket. Yeah, well, I'm a two-mark employee in there. Yeah. How many times has your place been knocked off in the last two months? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. this is why I let no double parkers, regardless of who they are. The parking authority is full of So how much is this? 51 bucks. Sorry, boss. Always trying to put it to the curb, daddy. All right, man? Yeah. All right, boss. Parking yeah. authority. They take people money and they don't get nothing back. This is for the parking authority. That credit union's been knocked off twice in the last two months. So I don't let anybody double park over there. You got to use your brains. Yeah, if I only had a brain. You got one. You can't be parked right on two meters. When you park at double meters, you really have to look at the meters. You can't take up two parking spots. She wrote the ticket. She came down here and said that I took up two parking spots and this one is my meter. Huh? This is for me and this is for the dumpster. That's what I assumed because that's how the parking spot right. was. This one is really her meter. She parked between both meters, but she was more on this meter and fed this meter. You'll see the other meter up here is for the dumpster, and the one in front of that is for the car. I put money in the bank, I ran the H&M, come back out, I got another damn ticket. Before I parked here, there was a truck here, a big-ass truck right here parked just like this, so nobody could fit behind the truck. So he took up two parking spots, so therefore, I parked here, and somebody was still behind me, but there was nobody for to occupy both of these meters. So if I'm getting a ticket, then that damn truck need to get a ticket for taking up two spots, and he should have paid the two meters. This one goes to that car. This one goes to this car. Now, this one over there is for the dumpster. That. You don't understand where I'm coming from. This intrepid couldn't have fit right there. I'm not paying these tickets. I just came out of traffic court Monday, 
and the judge dismissed the case because it was something similar to this that was not right. Mm -hmm. I'd rather buy some shoes. Thank you. Bye. When you park, either move it up or move it back. So you know how to park and you know how to feed your meter, right? That's a common sense situation, yes. Thank you. He kind of cute. He, he kind of cute. She's a Cowboys fan. I'm not the only one who likes Dallas out here. Dallas going to the Super Bowl.